Good evening. It looks and sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, a tool that lets police identify suspects just by taking a picture of their eyes. The Noble County Sheriff's Department is the first in the state to get the equipment and launched it today. News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields got a good look at how it works. Mark and Heather, it's about as easy as getting your mug shot taken, and it'll be used during the booking process. After suspects are fingerprinted, they'll simply look into this device that captures their irises and then scans them in a national database, all in the blink of an eye. It only takes 6 to 12 seconds. A digital picture of a person's eye can lead to all of this information among hundreds of thousands of profiles. It is only used for criminals and offenders. There is no civilian database of it. There is no background that can be checked for anybody other than someone who's already been in the criminal justice system. Sean Mullen is one of the founders of BI Technologies. He says the first system was installed three and a half years ago, and now departments in 47 states are using it. Noble County Sheriff Doug Harp asked for his to be linked to the sex offender registry, too. This is going to be a great tool so we'll know exactly who we have. The system will also eventually include portable versions like this that capture eyes, faces, and fingerprints for officers to use on traffic stops. It's going to eliminate those folks that, that we would bring into our jail thinking they were the right person when in fact they weren't. So it's, it's a win-win for everybody. So the portable units aren't out yet, but the sheriff says he can't wait for that to happen because then officers out on the street will know in a matter of seconds if someone's lying about who they really are. Uh, my hope is that every jurisdiction in our county will have a portable unit available for their officers and that we'll have some for our officers as well. And the more departments that get the technology, the better it will work. That's one of the beauties of the system, too, because it will, as, as more people get on board, it's going to increase the effectiveness of the system. The system does work with prescription contact lenses and glasses, but not costume contacts. And if you're wondering how it's funded, they're using the money inmates pay for extra things like snacks while in jail, not taxpayer money. Reporting live tonight from News Control, I'm Elizabeth Fields, News Channel 15.